Hello, welcome to iFocus Tutorials. In this video, I am going to explain the difference between fork and exec system call. In the previous video, I have already explained both these system calls individually. But many of us have a confusion that are these system calls same? So the answer is no. Now to start with, we all know that any process is a program in execution and these processes can be created by using different system calls. But the most popular system calls are fork and exec system call. This fork system call creates a new process by duplicating the calling process. So the new process is called as the child and the original process is called as the parent. Whereas the exec system call doesn't create any process but it replaces the current process image with a new process image. After the fork system call both the processes that is the child and the parent are executed simultaneously but in the exec system call as there is a single process but the control is never transferred to the original program unless and until there is an error. In the fork system call both the processes that is the child and the parent have unique process IDs but during the exec system call the new program is loaded in the current process space and hence the process ID remains same. Fork is called using one system call but exec has different functions in its family and we can use any one of them. Now let's check the execution of both these system calls in a single program. Uh, I have already written the program here so let's uh, check what I have written first. First I have printed the process ID of this program by using the get PID system call. Then I have called the fork system call which returns a value of type PIDT. You can check the manual page of this fork system call for more information. This fork system call returns three values. So I have taken three conditions here. First, if the value is less than zero, that is if the value is negative, then we say that this fork system call has failed and so I have printed fork failure. Now the second condition is uh, if the return value is zero. Now if this return value is zero, then it is considered that a child process has been created. So I have printed child process here and the process ID of this process by using the get PID system call. Now after printing the process ID of this child process, I have called the exec system call. I am using the exec v function which requires the arguments in the form of an array. So I have created the array here and the first parameter that I am passing is the output file of hello.c. I have created another file that is hello.c here. Now if you check the file here. I have just printed that I am in hello.c and I have printed the process ID of this process that by using the get PID system call. To get the information about the tutorials, press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get the notification. So I have passed the output file of this uh, hello.c as the first parameter and the last parameter should always be null. Then this exec v system call has the first parameter as the first parameter of this array and this entire array as the second parameter. Now the last statement that I have printed is coming back to child process. But one thing to note is that if this exec system call is executed successfully, then the control will never return back to this child process and hence this last statement will never be printed. And the third condition of this fork system call is the value greater than zero, which means that a parent process has been created. So I have just printed parent process and I have printed the process ID by using the get PID system call. Now we will check the output of this file. First of all, we have to compile both the files that is a fork exec.c and a hello.c. So I will compile it first. I am compiling uh, first my fork exec file. So it has been compiled successfully. Now I will compile my hello file. So GCC. I 
again it has been compiled successfully now i will run my fork exec file if you observe here first i had printed the process id of my process so this process id is 5291 which is printed then the fork system call is called which enters the third case that is parent process will be created first and if you observe here the process id of this parent process and the process id of my file is same because these both the files are same then my child process is created and if you observe here the process id of this parent process and this child process is different so from here we get to know that the two processes have been created so this fork system call creates a new process by duplicating the original process now from this child process we have executed our exec system call so it has entered the hello file and if you observe here in the hello file i have just printed i am in hello.c and i have printed the process id of this file now if you observe here properly the process id of this hello file that is 5292 is same as the process id of this child process as we have called our exec system call from the child process the process id will be same now from here we get to know that the new process is not created but the process image of this child process has been replaced by the process image of this hello file mm -hmm.